was right. Come, let us finish this. Father, why do you kill the birds? Son of ever told you about the birds and the bees. They're evil. But father, why are they evil? They just are. Just wait, they'll betray you too. Just give it some time. I bet we learn how to break those red crystals soon. Okay, so this is a kind of on rails -y section. Kinda wish the camera would zoom out for this. Instead of zooming in. Cause it would be nice to get a like a look at things as we go by. The path ahead. It's blocked. Then we climb. It's blocked by You know, Kratos, you could just punch this. You could literally just slam o it once and it would be gone. <laughs> Oh well. I uh I like the climbing in this game. Uh it's there's a noticeable path. You know, mother said the giants used to visit the Midgard mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared. Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Teodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. But yeah, I appreciate how well this path blends in. It's not common to have like, uh, you know, most games it's really obvious it's like ropes and like, um, ropes and like very clear ledges. And this one's almost kind of more on rails. No, we made it. More black breath. Though I guess most of the climbing segments are fairly linear, so you really don't need to know where you're going as long as you're going the right way. of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. No way across. But there's a sand bowl. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. Think there's a second life crystal around here? Nothing. Back down the mountain boy. I remember where the other light crystal was now. Thank you. Was obvious. Oh yeah, we definitely get the ability to break red crystals after this area. Maybe more immediately than, like, even in this zone. We might get it very soon. Maybe. not. Maybe I don't get it as soon as I'd like to. We'll see. This place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. I like Kratos' like kind of light jog as he carries the crystal around. Okay. Maybe the riddle will help. I can almost make it out. Runes! I can read it now! Oh, I actually have to press a button. The runes. A riddle answer for that sand bowl. It means freedom. Let's try it. What is the riddle? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall. Nor rooted tree doth know my call. Not sure what a thrall is, but freedom fits the rest.
This game is gorgeous. I love the special effects. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? That helps, right? I don't know. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I'm always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your folk. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. Well then, I hope we get to meet a giant, because I'd love to see this game's rendition of them. Because I think in uh, the Marvel verse, they're both big and blue. I think that's the case. Ah, ah. I slept for like 12 hours today, and I'm still sleepy. It's a pain in the butt. I um, oh, I really wanted to stream more of this yesterday. Woke up and had like 103 degree fever. It was awful. I more or less like couldn't see. I couldn't think. I could barely feel. <laughs> We've got a. Oh, it's fading from existence. But I'm ready. I'm ready. We had a giant piece of wood just sticking through Kratos' shoulder. That's a new one. Freedom from Odin for them. Yeah, it makes perfect sense to me. I mean, it doesn't seem like the gods are particularly good in this universe. Okay, uh, sturdy armor favoring cooldown. Oh, we we already were there. Okay. But yeah, I uh. Oh, right. Let's do this. I think that'll nuke the nightmares. Okay, so I didn't get to laser her as much as I wanted to. I'm doing fine. I was mostly hoping that I could uh, stun her again. Well, this works. It is weird that I automatically can't hit them. Like, if I try and hit them, they just poof away. I feel like it should just be harder for me to hit them. Okay, so where's this bird? I hear it. Might be above me. You look for the goddamn bird boy. Do you not hear it? it the noise plagues me. Oh, there it is. I will... I will... Uh, what is it? Witness no birds? No, I will suffer no birds. I gotta try the sprinty moves. I haven't tried them before. I also gotta remember I've got a... I've got a three-hit combo that I can use. I kind of stopped using it because I just totally forgot it, it existed. I gotta remember to play catch with the boy more often. I did okay, yeah? You have potential, boy. He is actually getting more, uh... He is actually getting more positive about Atreus as we go along. Because originally it was like, you know, you need work, you need practice, you, you know, he's being negative. And now, now he's like, you have potential and stuff. 
Okay, so it wants me to go in there, which means I don't want to go in there. We've got other stuff to do. We've got, I mean, we've got this. Is? Bottoms up. Nothing interesting, nothing important. So we have a crystal over there. Boy, another light crystal. So in there, we we've got to switch that to something else. But later, can I? I have no idea what hitting that does. One of these guys. No. Neither of these guys feel like fighting me. All right, sure. Why not? I can see. I have eyes. Two of them. I, uh... <laughs> uh, my bad gaff about no blind people watching this play playthrough has elicited more responses than I expected. Mostly people that can only see out of one eye. I can kind of... Oh, right. We gotta find the three seals. B, N, and R. Um, but, uh, I can see out of both of my eyes, but I can't see out of my right eye very well. Never have been able to. I've got pretty bad astigmatism in, in it, and it didn't go diagnosed until I was in middle school or later. At which point, uh, I just automatically, uh, automatically got used to just looking out of one eye over every other one. Well, every other one. I've only got two eyes. What am I saying? Uh, you know, I'd, I'd only look out of my left eye. Shut up, boy! I'm solving puzzles! Nothing is more important. Gotta try that again. I can guarantee it was a, it doesn't work out well for you. See, guarantee. Oh, you went poop. Wait, did the other guy just? Nice to have an easy fight every once in a while. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so it's like it's not so bad, but I'm also uh, I'm right-handed, uh, which for the most part. You know, that's totally fine. The issue with me being right-handed and seeing out of my left eye is I really like archery. You know, I think that might actually be a giant. It is slightly bigger. Yeah, that's probably a giant. Uh, so, I'm, I'm, I'm right-handed, left eye dominant, which means it's really hard to fire... Uh, it's really hard to fire a bow and arrow. Because normally you're supposed to aim with your your right eye, but since I can't, it's just like, uh, I mean, I guess I can make this work, but it's more much more of a pain in the ass. Hello. Uh. Oh, right. Got to actually light light it up here. Boy. Yes, sir. Hmm. This is good to know. Is there a word for hatred of left shoulders? I don't know, but Kratos lives it. Like, is... I'm really... I would love to ask the developers why they only have one kill animation and it's always the left shoulder. Because it is... It's like Kratos has built up this, like, weird... Like, ex obsession with uh, removing people's... Left shoulders from the rest of their bodies. Which is always fatal, but still. When the mountain was cold, it was mo Meloda. And... <laughs> I need a pronunciation key for this. Meloda and uh, Ombres, who gave it life. Wandering souls from distant lands, who had tasted of the, of the mead and poetry. And in search of inspiration, found each other. 
and in each other found great love. To the summit of Midgard's great mountain, a secret bridge was built. Here they would make their hearth and fortress to live free of prophecy and know only themselves and each other. The mountain became a shelter for the outcast and the artist, for Jotnar and new friends made. And to this beacon, many more souls made pilgrimage. Even now, as we shelter from the storm, let none forget the beckoning spirit of the mountain that was. Sounds like the mountain used to be pretty amazing. Mom always did love artists. She was probably a survivor of this mountain. Like, she probably grew up here. Okay. Well, let's go back for a second. It's B N R. But it's not that end. There's the B. That's already set. Where's the third one? Who is right here? That should be it, yeah? Yeah, it looks like we're good. Yeah, usually the runes light up when you're when you're done. Or when you've got the correct one. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, shoot. I really wish there was maps for each one of these. It would make my life a lot easier to tell if I've missed anything. Any, like, specific areas? Or, say, that chest over there? Uh... Hold on. How do I get to this chest over here? Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. I gotta break the cart here. Well, let's grab that. There's tons of them over here. There's a dead giant on the floor of the room with the rune chest on it. Yeah. Just look at this place. It feels so dead. I was gonna say ancient, but dead works too. Okay, so I dropped. Yep, I dropped three things over here. Charge up your axe and then hit them with it for a few new executions. I, I've done the charge, uh, the charge to axe executions before. They're they're not bad. They work perfectly well. Uh, it's just mainly it feels like the. Well, I use the one other type of execution most often because it's easiest to get. Man. The repetition is kind of noticeable after a while. I think I've got everything in here. Melotha and Onfres. Right. I, uh... Well, yeah, that is, that is definitely a dead giant. So, they're not that giant. And yes, I can upgrade my armbands now. I think I can upgrade my armbands now. But, uh, it's still... We gotta find, uh, one of the smiths first. So, I've, I've been in here. I've done all this. That was over here. Okay, good. We can progress. Closer to the chest. Aren't they both dead giants? Yeah. They're both dead giants. This is a bit bigger and armored, but they are both dead giants. They all have the same face. That's a bit dumb. Some are bigger than others. There's a really big dead one where I met the snack and wandered. Yeah, uh, the one who, where I found his butt gold. I remember that. Gotta actually push through. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. So this is where we find out that, uh, 
The gods executed everybody here. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. For you seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. The statue! We made it across! Read it. Sir. Oh, this is Durothron. One of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Yodnam while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. So I'm just gonna come back to this place eventually and just be like... Man, there's so much dead. Then it looks like somebody just like, rage broke everything else. Okay. Look here. I've seen this language before. The serpent cannot be spoken to, but its belligerence towards the Aesir is unmistakable. The destruction of Tyr's temple is infeasible while he remains. However, this presence has caused the Lake of Nine to submerge it completely. Therefore, the larger aim of the fettering realm travel is still achieved. The Raven Keeper. Oh, the larger aim of fettering realm travel is still achieved. So... Somebody wanted to break Tyr's temple. Interesting. I do, I do appreciate the fact that uh, Kratos and Atreus have stopped being snippy to each other. Almost immediately. I guess that little heart-to-heart -heart at the end was a little bit more impactful than I thought it would be. That just lights things up. Hello. You're new. Yep. Okay, so if there's a red circle, it is unparried. Which we pretty much already knew. Yeah, the Raven Keeper is Odin. Yeah, I figured as much, considering the, the ravens are his eyes. It really does seem like Odin kind of just decided to be a dick about a lot, a lot of things. Oh, gotta go get a crystal. Uh, do we have one immediately available? Do I have to backtrack? God damn it. I understand why they make unblockable attacks, but it's a little unsatisfying. Peak is still our goal. We find a way up. Wow. The highest peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. Ah, uh, she knew. I mean, she definitely knew. Uh, she tricked Kratos into chopping down the trees to force them on the journey anyway. Hey, thank you for the resub, Noodlop. Okay. Yeah, now we can now we can definitely uh fix up our, our bracers. So no more ravens around here. With all the gods are dicks. It's interesting. In in certain stories the gods are complete complete douche nozzles. And in other stories they're not so bad. I mean like take take uh Disney's Hercules, for example. I don't... I think I might have to backtrack for a crystal. Give me a second. Um... No, I'm not going to be able to get a crystal through here. So... 
Oh. We need to be able to destroy the red stuff before I can get the crystal through. Oh, that's a problem. Because she tricked Kratos into breaking the protective circle to bring the gods to Kratos. I don't know if she meant for the gods to come to Kratos necessarily. Nothing down here but some weird sap. Or if she just wanted to force him on the journey by removing it. Effect was about the same though. name, I think. Rasley. It means terror. Alright, there we go. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wig, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Oh, paper lantern. Eyes open. I wish I didn't automatically start ha like it didn't force me to start climbing those. It's not like that much of a deal, but I kind of wish I could just set the shortcut and then, eh, whatever. Hello. I just broke these on a whim. <laughs> I didn't even notice the treasure chest. I was just like, oh. Hey, chain! Oh, hey, treasure chest! Oh, hey, hack silver. Admittedly, hack silver feels a little bit less necessary. Oh. Stop that! Come on, that was just okay. Let's see, how much money? Yeah, I got a lot of money out there. What's this do? I assume this is to open the gate. Oh my God! What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. All right. How do we use it? This place is a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oops. There is a crystal over there. Looks like something's supposed to roll on you. Looks like something's supposed to roll on these. Yep. I don't think we can get it though. We still need. Well, hmm. We need to like lift this mining cart. That could be useful, yeah. yeah I got to use the charging moves more often. There's got to be a way to make that claw work. Uh, I wonder what lighting these crystals up does. Uh, it, no, that just, that just broke things in the vicinity. Okay. Well, that's not going anywhere. I really cannot tell if lighting those does anything at all. Okay, so we've got a big wheel here. I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hello. Oh, right. I keep using the wrong button to parry. Yeah, so he knocks stuff down now.
Anybody want to attack me? Okay. Fine. I will just... I wanted to reflect shit back into these guys. Because it's rad. But I'm not doing it well enough to really justify it. Also, it seems like these guys have really hefty fire resistance to begin with. Oh good, there's more of them. Okay, whatever. Let's see if I can... Nope, that's not the one I was aiming for. Come on, aim for the guy up there. There. <laughs> I hit him on the backswing. Oh, uh, that worked out well. Let's see, is Kratos training his son to be the next god of war? Um... I think Kratos is training his son very specifically to survive. Uh, kind of trying to prepare him for what he became a victim of, if that makes sense. Like, I think, um... I think Kratos kind of sees, I mean, obviously, responsibility for his own son. Uh, but I, I think he's hes kind of trying to prepare Atreus to not become like him. If you try and hit the crystal multiple times, it may give you items or resources. Oh, yeah. I guess I haven't tried hitting them repeatedly. What does it say? Yes, sir. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also dwarves. Should we add to it? No. Okay, let's see if I can break these or something. It's working. Yeah, I don't know how to interact with this. Maybe we get the ability. I'm right, Wander. Oh, right, about uh, trying to raise his son to kind of not suffer the same things he did. Yep. You know, kind of the trust no one, expect betrayal, uh, don't get surprised, a lot of things. It makes perfect sense, as far as I'm concerned. So we've got some kind of, like system there. We need to free the rope from under the mess you created up there, boy. Maybe there's a way up there through that passage that opened. We will see. Okay, it looks like I've found everything else in this area. I do I do like that Kratos himself has kind of mellowed out a little bit. He's definitely like still gruff and angry at everything. Oh, hey. You had a way around the black breath all along. Now don't go thinking I could have gotten you past it, you big sack of meat. I got ways around most everything, especially up here. Time was, my folk had the run of this joint. Improved the design of the Jotnar traps and built workarounds to boot. Why you think they're so devious? Oh, that reminds me. Watch out for traps. Sure, I'm okay. Okay, so... Talon bow upgrade. Also, I can upgrade my... No. I still can't upgrade my... My Tears Lost Unity Gauntlets. I do have this. But it's not worth. Losing all that luck and other stuff. We need three more solid Svartheim. Okay, well, uh... Talon Bow upgrade. Something for the boy. Oh, uh, do we increase his damage and skills? It'll, yeah, it's way more important than upgrading my bracers. Because, you think what you want? 
I'd like to upgrade my bracers some more. Restoration. Elf burst on any precision throw. Eh. Executioner's cleave. Or axe kills grant a health burst. That's kind of helpful. Kind of really he helpful. We'd lose some luck. We'd gain some vitality. We'd lose some runic. And maybe a little bit of strength. I don't know which one's an executioner's cleave. I'm going to grab the Deadly Grip of Vitality for now. Because that might actually be kind of helpful. Have I been... I think I was actually using this one. Why is it suddenly... Oh, no. This is new. Maybe? Where were we on that other thing? I'm very confused. Did I have... the group of ten in Neos on? Oh, I did. Oh, I need to upgrade the Grip of Ten and Yost to get it up to level 5. I see. Well, I'll keep with the Deadly Grip of Vitality. I was confused about how it was Let's doing do leveling it. math for a second. Okay, so we want to upgrade. So this would bump it up to level 5. And this would bump it up to level 4. Well, we've got plenty of the Serpent Scales. See how that treats. And don't be letting that spit pister of a brother of mine lay hands so we're just going to upgrade this both times. You use it until we can upgrade the Tanning Yoist. Uh. Tangiost? I don't know. Tanning Yik. Well, see you next time you need something. Okay. Hello. How do I get to that one? Damn it. Wow. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. Ha! Bird. <laughs> Lower. I can't really tell exactly how to hit this one. Got it. Okay. Let's see. 